most important part of your car? It's those tires. Why? Because it's the only part of your car that actually touches the road. And think about it. If the tires are no good, then it doesn't really matter how good the brakes or anything else is. It all goes through the tires to the pavement. Now, it's obviously winter out here. It's a little bit cold, which reminds us it's time for winter tires. Now, you notice we don't call them snow tires anymore because modern winter tires are about a whole lot more than getting grip on snow, slush, and ice. The fact is that below about 7 degrees Celsius, the rubber in summer or all-season tires gets so cold and brittle that it can't really conform to the irregularities in the road surface, and that's what gives you the traction. A winter tire has a rubber compound that's more malleable at colder temperatures, and it can get that grip. Obviously, it's better in snow and ice as well. Now, there's a couple other points we want to mention about winter tires. First of all, we're still hearing people in the tire retail business telling you that you don't really need four tires. Yes, you do. You really should have four tires. And if you are only going to use two, maybe you can't afford to buy four, you put them on the rear wheels. Doesn't matter if it's a front wheel drive car or a rear wheel drive car, they go on the back. Why? Because you can put the winter tires on the driving wheels, you can get going faster, but what happens when you try and stop? If you've got no grip at the back, the back end of the car spins out and you have a pretty ugly crash. So the objective of winter tires isn't to get you going faster, it's to get you home safer. I'm Jim Kenzie. So Suzuki is hoping the 2011 Kasashi will succeed where the Verona failed and in a segment where competition is fierce with intermediate sedans. But rather than hide from the competition, Suzuki said bring it on. And as we saw earlier, that's exactly what they did as they had journalists drive the Kasashi up against all its competition. And even some of the more cynical scribes admitted to me that not only did the vehicle hold its own, but it actually beat out some of the other cars in many areas. What do I think? Well, I like the vehicle. In fact, I was even surprised at the handling. But what they have to do is be very aggressive in the pricing to get that edge. And I've always felt that Suzuki still has a bit of a brand image. They need to get more bums in the seats of their vehicle. They've already proven with the Grand Viterra and the SX4, they can build good vehicles that feel more expensive than they actually cost. And with this vehicle, if I had one suggestion, I would get a six cylinder. They do have the six. The four is more than competent but you have a four and a six, you've got one car with two different personalities and that translates into more customers. And speaking of translation, when you look at the future, Suzuki is hoping that the Kazaji lives up to its name, which in English means greater things to come. Time will tell. That's it for now. We'll see you next time out as we continue to bring you more stories about cars and the people who drive them. Do I like it? I like it more now than I did when I first saw it. I found it a bit shocking at first when I saw it, but sometimes that happens with new design. You just, it's, you're not, it's not familiar to you and you kind of recoil. Then you see it becomes more familiar to you and then that's, yeah, it's, oh, and look, it's an Acura. <laughs> Motoring 2010 on TSN has been brought to you by Quaker State, Real Durable Oil, and Michelin, a better way forward.